Isra says, in Islam, what is meant by a woman or a man, nature is different. Is this referring to appearances? Because we are told human nature is the same for all, like desires, greed, jealousy, love, or of wealth, etc. No, this is not true. Men and women are different. Appearances or physically, they may look alike, having a head, two arms, two legs, being able to speak, maybe women speaking more than men, considerably. Uh, but beside that, um, they are different in how they think, in how they feel. Men are more realistic, logical. They don't involve a lot of feelings in their lives. That's why they're, they're having hearts of stone. While women are emotional, they involve a lot of emotions in their life. And this is why we love them. Because if a man was married to a woman without emotions, without feelings, he feels like he's married to his buddy, a friend, a man. And if a woman marries a man with too much feelings, that whenever she speaks to him, he starts to weep and cry. He says, what is this? She wants a man that orders her, that protects her, that steers the marriage and the family to safety. So they are different. When women speak or sit with other women, they talk endlessly about things that men would never ever speak about and vice versa. So when I sit with the boys, we talk, we talk about cars, property, prices, about uh, uh, inflation, stocks, about politics, economy, never ever talk about our personal lives. I would never say that, yeah, my, my wife went to the, uh, the beauty parlor and she's uh, doing her nails. I wouldn't do anything like that. Nobody knows anything about my life. Women, on the contrary, when they sit, they tell everything. My husband did this, my husband did that, my children went to school and this happened, my daughter-in-law said this to my son and they had a fight and, and they gossip and they exchange stories and they put all of their emotions in it. This is how they are built. Generally speaking, there might be some exceptions. Therefore, they are different from one another. Their orientation is different. The way they think, the way they talk, and the way they appreciate. Men in general fail to say thank you. I got a call from a brother the other day. He's telling me that my wife is angry with me. And I misunderstood the meaning of a hadith. The Prophet said, whoever does not thank people is not grateful to Allah. So he said, from this hadith, I thought that thanking people would be shirk because I'm not doing it to Allah. So I never praise my wife's cooking or doing good things. Today she gave me a good meal and I failed to say thank you. It's a good meal because I didn't want to praise her. Why not praising her? He said, because in another hadith, the Prophet said that if you praise your Muslim brother, it's like cutting his neck. Said, SubhanAllah, how people think. The hadith of not praising others is in things related to religion. So if you come to me and say, Sheikh Asim, you are the most righteous scholar I've ever seen, I would say, hmm, yeah, I know, that's good. And I would act to be humble. Astaghfirullah, astaghfirullah. You said, yeah, Sheikh Asim, you've guided us 
so much to Islam and now we're practicing and now we love Allah all is because of you and I said Astaghfirullah inside my head is inflating and I'm thinking yeah and I and I have a lot of good videos as well and the Q&A sessions are beautiful definitely you've enjoyed it I think of myself in a way that shaitan is happy this is haram because with time I'll justify any sin that I do by saying to myself yeah, yeah I have credit man so many people enjoy my lectures and I, I'm I'm way in paradise but praising people and things related to dunya is definitely permissible and recommended so your wife does a good job in preparing a meal wow the food is great mashallah you're a great cook this is not in religion this is in dunya she wears a beautiful dress even if it's not beautiful yeah he fake it wow look at this dress it's so beautiful you look gorgeous i don't know which is making the other more beautiful you making the dress beautiful or the dress making you look beautiful this gives you fuel for a whole year of compliment she's satisfied this is totally permissible so when you come to the issue of the nature of men and women it's different women love to be praised you have to praise them even if you lie it is it, this lie is a good deed it's halal say how look how beautiful she looks how good she, how she smells how nice her cooking is even if you lie you'll be rewarded for that so yes men and women are different and Allah Azza wa knows best 